Hmm. Oh! Come over here, kid. Look, there she comes right here. Look at this. Oh, he smells it. Come up, buddy. Catch a whiff. He's gonna come up. Watch, 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 watch. Oh! Look at this one in a million peacock bats. Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture. And let's just start out by looking at Tyson, my beautiful peacock mantis shrimp. Look at him. Look at him. He looks so good. He looks absolutely amazing. Oh, look at those colors. Look at those eyes. It's wild. Now, guys, I wanted to talk to you about something that has been a long time coming. We got merch. We got merch. I partnered with my friend, Hook360. What's really cool about Hook360 is, honestly, kind of looks like a J and an S. If you look at it together, it's pretty cool. And as well as it's an infinity sign. So it's a pretty cool design. Now, this is one of the jackets. You guys always give me grief about wearing my windbreaker and everything like that. I just love it. It's easy, it holds sweat. You can actually put it up. It's really nice. And it covers your face if you don't look so nice. <laughs> but anyways, guys, it's nice. Look at that. Big and open. Oh, t-shirts. We also got t-shirts too. We got t-shirts right now. They're kind of exclusive. These are like little snippets of what's coming out. He has a couple already on the website. I'm gonna link it below. Pants are falling. We're actually coming out with pants as well. We have bikinis. Lily herself also has a women's t-shirt. I do. Look at that. Not bad, not bad. So in the future, we'll be releasing exclusive t-shirts dedicated to each animal that I have. So comment below which shirt should I release first. It's gonna be like one release at a time for a couple of days and you guys will be able to buy those. Like I said, I'm gonna link that below. We have a percentage of our proceeds that actually goes towards conservation. So I can talk about that later. But uh, we also have, it's getting kind of chilly outside. So if you don't have someone to cuddle with because it's cuffing season, you can go ahead and just cuddle with yourself and get a nice pullover jacket. If I can put this thing on, can you give me a hand here? Sure. Help me out here. So you got this nice jacket here, nice, to keep yourself warm. And then you have these beautiful, nice long sleeves as well. There's different designs. You have the Hook 36. This is camo, army type of style. There's also some with tarp and everything like that. So the store is open. It's gonna be linked below. Get your merch now. Um, you can also use my code SLAM. You get a percentage off. And I believe a free gift. But I'm not here to promote merch, guys. I'm here to talk about our beautiful albino peacock bass or whatever that is. It's like leucistic. I don't, I don't know, but it's definitely one in a million. But right before we go, we have to see how Tyson's doing. It looks like he's gonna go through a moat. So if we get that on camera, it'd be absolutely freaking wild. Look at this guy. He terrorized the world. Right now, he's not gonna be fed because he already ate. He had a big old crayfish. And you're gonna see that on my TikTok. If you follow my TikTok, it's gonna be linked below as well. It's gonna be right here. But hey, women. Yes. You wanna see that peacock? I do. Oh, yeah. So like I said guys, we have merch now. We have merch. So go ahead and get yours. Link below. It's nice and soft. It's gonna be pretty sweet if you want to go ahead and get your sleigh on. On top of that, how about we make a ninja shirt? That'd be pretty sweet. Dude, look at, look at him on top. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Come on. You doing good? Come on. Oh! <laughs> I guess you're hungry, buddy. Gosh, you were slurping me down. Hold on, let's get him some food. I actually have them now, pellet train on sinking carnivore pellets. <laughs> that was great. Jeez, slurping it down. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple. Look at him. Oh, oh. Check it out, watch. Look at that. Nice, well balanced diet. I love these Hikari sinking carnivore pellets. I actually feed them to my crayfish and just about anything else. But guys, you're not here to see Ninja, even though we, we do love Ninja. You're not here to see Mega Mine. We're just hiding. A little nervous right now because he is very, very jealous because he went from being the center of attention to this guy being the center of attention. Look at this one in a million peacock bats. Now, guys, my thing is it's not fair that I only have this peacock bass. It's not fair. On top of that, it's a 150 gallon aquarium, it is sufficient enough for him to live, but I want to see how big he can get. So, of course, I hit up the monster fish keeper himself predatory fins, I gave him a call, I showed him a photo, you guys were going nuts in the last video saying this was an insane fish, I had to hit a rod. He obviously blew me up, everybody in the community blew me up. So 
it's only fair that everyone in the entire community, especially here in South Florida, can come and visit and see this fish themselves. So, guys, we're gonna be giving this guy a brand new home, a new aquarium that's gonna be bigger. He's gonna be a centerpiece at Predatory Fitness Place, as well as I had some people throw me offers and numbers about selling this fish. I don't know if I'm willing to sell this fish, but if the price is right, everything's for sale. No, I'm just, I'm just joking, guys. No, what we're gonna do is give this guy a new home, give him a better opportunity to thrive, to eat, so that maybe I can possibly make a isolated pond in the garage, like I was saying, right next to the big 12 foot pond, an isolated pond just for this fish. Cause I think he'll do a lot better in a pond than in a tank. But in a tank, you can appreciate his colors. Like look, look at that. You can see it. It looks like it's, he, he has a fillet. He's like completely translucent. Look at that. That's insane. He has the blues on top, some pink on the cheekbone, a little black on the fin. Look at that. He's doing so good. That's so cool. And he has black on the fin right there. Wild. Oh, he wants attention now. You want to come back? Oh. Well, so much for that. Oh, you want to come back? Look who has come back. Look from above. Oh, you want to eat my little baby? Hello, Hello, <laughs> Mingy Mane. Hello, Mingy Mane. All right, here you go. Have some food, my friend. Enjoy. Look at that. He's so Dude, cute. He's so temperamental. He gets so jealous when he's not the center of attention. Sounds like Lily. All right, guys. So. It's time to move our beautiful one in a million peacock bass into its new home. This is absolutely amazing. Which sucks now, because now I'm not gonna have anything in here. I'm not. So comment below what I should add into this tank, but I'm not even worried about that. Right now I'm kind of worried about the safety, because if we can get this guy to get big and comfortable and everything like that, I might bring him back. I might, but only if I have him in a pond. So this tank is definitely gonna be vacant. You know, it's, it used to house all my catfish, but Ollie's gonna be growing those out and put them in the big pond. So, let me go ahead and unplug my pump because it's causing a lot of current. And I'm going to siphon out enough water so we can transfer them in this beautiful cooler. You're not really gonna be able to appreciate them in this cooler, but definitely against a black background, you get to see his true color and how beautiful this fish is. It's amazing, wild. All right, cool. So. We're gonna do what we do best. Tucky Tucky five dollar here. And we'll be back in 50 years. All right guys, so we're gonna remove these lids, but keep them close by. We do not want this peacock to jump out of this tank and fly on the ground because we wanna make sure there's a nice and happy and healthy life and it's brand new potential home at Predatory Fins, which should be temporary. It should be temporary. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. Look at this peacock pass. Look at this thing, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Look at the colors and everything. Just take a moment, now you can actually see it since it's been hiding and cuddling in there. Let me get this bass in here. I'm gonna get them out through here. Keep your eyes peeled, girl. Alrighty. Oh my gosh. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Easy, easy. There you go. Wow. You can actually see the blue now. Wow. Look at that. It's like a purple, blue. It's like a rainbow fish for sure, right? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right, sweet. So guys, we're heading to Predatory Fins. We're gonna pack up our beautiful, one in a million, beautiful fish right here, right now. Let's take one look. Oh, let's not take a look. I'll just see our Predatory Fins. But before we go to Predatory Fin, I kind of felt like Predatory Fin there. I wanted to show you guys again. I know in the last video you guys saw them eat and they were having a great time. But these are big Predatory Catfish. And as you can see, they have an appetite all the time. Look, come over here, kids. Look, there she comes right here. Look at this. Look at everybody come at the sign of the splash. You know what? I'm going to show you guys something cool. Hold on, let me get this food real quick. All right, guys. So right now, I'm in the middle. Whoa. Not bad. You good? You're good. Okay, I have a little pellets here. Watch this. Kitty's gonna be the first one to get to the top, as you can see. Gonna get that set in the water, and here they come. There's Whiskers. There's Batman. Actually, that's Robin from the Black Bar. Oh, here is the sharks. Here is the sharks. Oh, that's so sweet. There's Batman again. I can get him with you. Robin from the Black Bar. There's Teddy. There's Kitty. And I throw just, just about this much. 
And believe it or not, I, I feed them every other day. I'll feed them um, lean foods and then I'll feed them pellets. But today, since I wanted to show you guys the merch and my fish again, and of course that beautiful albino peacock bass, decided to feed them again. On top of that, our brand new fish Shrek, one day later, is ready to eat. Come check them out. All right guys, so I have some shrimp. I have some shrimp. Usually we feed our block catfish live frozen or live or frozen. So here you go. Let's see if he catches a whiff. I would love to hand feed him. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. He's over there to the left. Oh, he smells it. Come up, buddy. Catch a whiff. He's gonna come up. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, look at that. That is so sick. And that's nothing for them, nothing. They can swallow just about five to six inches of their size. Again, you got another shrimp. Watch, let's see if he comes up. He'll get a whiff. I don't know if he'll come up, but he'll definitely slurp. Oh wait, maybe, maybe. Keep your eyes on him. Maybe, oh, 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 oh. Come up. Uh, he's, he's not, I don't know if he's gonna come up. We'll see. I'll just throw it down. I'll throw it down and see if he finds it. Just follow him, follow him. Look at those whiskers. Try to clean the inside of that tank. Oh, and just like that, he slurped it. Sweet. Well, Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Stay tuned for the next one where we go ahead and move our beautiful albino peacock bass. Hello, uh, where's the booyah? Oh yeah, booyah.